for Mr. Crab's old glasses treasure. Open for business. I'll give you a buck fifty for this umbrella. Ten bucks. Ten bucks? Okay, Mr. Bargain Hunter. Five bucks. Deal! Ah, the sweet smell of an all-day sucker. Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? It's a professional here. So, I got a crazy current events video for you guys. We got two ridiculous scams that are basically happening in the um in the same week. So, we had that Willy Wonka scam that I basically talked about last week where there was like, you know, fake chocolate factory, made the kids cry, people got ripped off, and I don't even think the actors ended up getting paid for it, but now we have another scam. Um, now, this scam isn't as big as the um, as the Willy Wonka thing, but this is a scam that's actually on the Steam. Now, this is not Steam's fault for this, but Steam should probably take action against this and take this down, but anyways, take a look at this, guys, because when I search this up, you guys are not going to believe this. Look, blood on the streets this one this game here look at this here now do you guys notice something strange about this game this is the artwork but just take a look at this right now see this look let me let me zoom let me see if i can get bigger yeah so look at this this is the game blood on the streets does this game look strange to you guys right now look at this does this look strange just look at the, the map the mini map the gun icons, you know, the NPCs. Does this map look strange to you guys? And here we have a little gameplay trailer too. So I'm not going to play that because I'm going to get copyrighted. And but... You have no idea what it's like to OD in a... And that's Radio X, even the same DJ. Um, so stepping into this open city, you will find a game world full of challenges and opportunities waiting for you to explore. In this free and open realm, engage in fierce gang wars with gangsters and mafia, challenging your strategy and leadership. Get ready to start a new life. Major update. Congratulations, multiplayer mode is now available. Um, <laughs> those four people that actually like this, but wouldn't be surprised if it was the developer. Um... Uh, call it a third-person shooter. It can also be called a racing game. I would call it the City of Freedom. Stepping into this open city, you will find a game world um, full of challenges and opportunities waiting for you to explore. In this free and open realm, engage in fierce gang wars with gangsters and mafias, um, challenging your strategy and leadership. Get ready to start a new life and experience on an endless world where you make the rules. In this virtual city, you will meet real players from all over the world to compete, cooperate, and even break the rules of the game. Choose the weapon you need and choose from a variety of firearms to best suit your unique tactics. Time is running out and every moment is an opportunity to fight against the crime family. The crime family, that's the enemies. Join this engaging game and become a legend of the city. In this world of endless possibilities, every decision you make will shape your destiny. Challenges include the limits. Create legends. Let the city become the stage for your endless adventures. <laughs> so, this game is made by this developer, East Unknown. And apparently, this is the only um, uh, this is the only game they have made. I have not been able to find anything. So, if anybody, if anybody in the comments knows who this East Unknown developer is, please let me know in the comments because I'm really curious what, who this developer is, where they are. Is this like a team of people? Is this one guy who made this? Because I tried to search them up, I was not able to find anything. And they're both the developer and the publisher. My question is, how does something like this even get? published on steam like how did this even go through steam like doesn't steam have like some kind of filter or something like that that can detect if like a game is using another game's engine to basically prevent copyright material because here's the thing is is we talk a lot about copyright on this channel and there's a lot of dumb things that happen with copyright on this channel um you know i oftentimes get copyright claimed for just a few seconds of music in a game people get claimed for just ridiculous things constant false visual claims audio claims but this this is a perfect example of actual copyright infringement. This right here. This. You have this guy who is basically claiming the map of San Andreas as his map, claiming that he is the one who made this, and basically selling this. So this isn't just some guy who made a mod. This is some guy who's taking credit for the game, not even mentioning this is tied to GTA, and they are tr selling this for $5.99. And let's take a look at the reviews. 
Um, this is a scam game. Do not purchase it and report this to Steam. This is just a GitHub project called San Andreas Unity, which can be found here. Let me put, open this up. So this is apparently where this came from. Uh, game engine, okay, for San Andreas and Unity. Uh, the original project right requires you to own GTA San Andreas, where it will import the files and build the project for you. This person did that. Uh, did that. So this game includes the GTA San Andreas files, a clear copyright violation of Rockstar's property. Yep, this is clear violation of 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 uh, of it. Doubtful. They seem to put this crap up on the store, expecting them to ban me at some point. Wonder the developer or, or what they may be if they have any words for you, if anything. Um, how does this even pass Q and A? Yep. Curious on that too. It's because there is almost none. Banger. So somebody, um, uh, somebody liked this one too. I think it's. I think it's just personally a troll. Um, but I'm really curious about this because. Is this even a, a, a San Andreas pedestrian model? This one, I don't know if this is a San Andreas pedestrian model. Uh, but they didn't even they didn't even attempt to hide the guns. Like the gun, the the guns and the targeting thing. It's the exact same thing as San Andreas. It's literally the exact same thing. So they didn't even attempt to really do anything here. Um, battery point. That's what it's called. The big ear. Um, angel pine. So pirates and men's pants. So it's um. I think these are the same locations, because Angel Pine, I know, is a real location in San Andreas. Um, but the other ones, I'm not sure about here. Uh, but wow, yeah. So basically, taking a 2004 game, you know, taking it, creating, like, your own game from it, and then trying to sell it 20 years later on here, wow. Um, this is just something, this is just something new and different, and I hope that Rockstar takes this down. I hope that somebody from Rockstar sees this and takes this game down. Um, uh, because like I said, this is actual copyright infringement. I am actually, and I'm honestly really curious. I'm really curious if, if I was to download this game, I'm really curious what is actually in this game. Does this game actually have servers? Are there people actually playing this game? I'm just generally curious what this game is. And this game might even be a virus, but I think Steam scans their games for viruses. But that's, um, yeah, that is just, that's ridiculous. Um, uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys want me to, um, uh, do you guys want me to try playing this game? Um, the thing is, if I even played this game on my channel, I don't even know if I would get in trouble with Rockstar, because I'm not the one doing the copyright thing, but they are selling a game on here, so if I bought the game and I played it on the channel, would I even get in trouble from Rockstar? That I don't even know. I don't think I want to risk that. But, um, but regardless, this is some kind of scam. This guy did not make this game. Um, he's trying to take credit for it. And honestly, I don't know how this guy thought that he would get away with this. Um, it would have made much more sense if he actually would have made a separate game on San the engine of San Andreas, but just taken the entire, like, you know, map of San Andreas and just copying and pasting it here, the exact same animations, everything like that, and just trying to rename it something else, and then creating, like, this artwork here, uh, this blood on the streets thing. <laughs> Man, ridiculous. But um, but let me know what you guys think down below. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, do drop a like. Uh, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.